<laughs> Are you sponsored by Valspar? You had a what? <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Shua. And we're friends of Rick. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I guess we're friends of Rick. <laughs> and and uh, today we're using a wood palette to make a M plus S wood sign. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> So my friends Mike and Shuo were in northern Ohio and they decided to swing down towards me to hang out. Little did they know that I had an impromptu DIY session waiting for them. And because I'm a poor planner, I didn't disassemble the pallet before they got here. So while it may look like it didn't take a very long time, it actually took much longer than I expected. Fun fact, this is the first pallet I've ever disassembled and those things are built like tanks. We're only gonna use three of the planks and then we're gonna cut them in half and then join the boards. First up at the saw is Mike and he's a seasoned veteran. Let's see what he's got. He's a natural at the saw handle, gotta give it to him. Fantastic execution and one more cut. Okay, now we're all set to join the board, so we're going to do a little layout. The first thing you want to do is get a layout that you like, and then you want to take notice of the direction of the grain of each plank. We want to alternate the grain so that when we join them, the sign doesn't start to bow or crack. It's kind of hard to discern the direction of the grain on these old pallets, but if you take your time and look closely, you'll find the meaning to life and the direction of the wood grain. That's the stuff. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's an angry man. Oh yeah. What do I do? What do I do with this? I'll just go right to gluing. Okay. So lay them on their sides. So glue this, this, and then. Okay, so you don't need a double glue. Nope. Okay. And uh, go for it. So you just go whoop and then be super generous, yeah. It looks like Shuo's been watching some of my videos because that form is perfect. All right, you guys can clamp it up. It's like tying the knot. Join them forever. Join, join the wood. Oh, okay. that glue is sticky. Yeah. <laughs> we need to work on singing. Adele, she's the next Adele. Um, uh, we need to tighten this we need to tighten this? Oh yeah, tighten I think. it. Squeeze them. Squeeze it? Oh, just this one right here? Okay. Squeeze them all. Yeah. This one. Yep. Oh yeah, I was like, it's not working. Right. That's pretty cool. Is that tight enough or? So what do we do now? Do we eat ice cream for a while and then wait for this to set? Yep, pretty much. Just hang out, we'll watch the ball. Oh. <laughs> Everything I touch turns to fail. I'm gonna slide this to the end of the bench, clamp it down, and then use some weight on the other side to keep the boards flat. Nice. Do I, do I that felt good. This on top? Yeah. After about a half hour to an hour, we came back out and we're going to attach the stencil with some painter's tape and then get to painting. We didn't really wait very long for the paint to dry. Uh, I don't think that matters. So we're just gonna peel off the template. And that looks beautiful. Almost as beautiful as you. Sadly, Mike and Shua had to head west for a photo shoot. Uh, so I'm left alone and cold. But I will carry on and finish this DIY as I've done before with my head held high and a paint mixer as a straight edge. 
And I'm just going to chisel out some of the excess paint that bled out of the stencil. If you score the paint with a utility knife, it makes it easier to chisel up to that point. Next, I'm going to use my sanding block and just sand the entire piece. Then I'm going to saturate the sign in water. This way, when I go to stain it, it's not going to take a lot of stain at first, and then I can relayer the stain on and really control the tone of the wood. And I think it's important to note here that I don't really know exactly what I'm going for or what I'm doing. I'm just kind of experimenting uh, with some additive and subtractive uh, techniques. <laughs> that sounded really official. That's really professional stuff. Um, so yeah, like here, I'm just gonna throw on some more white paint because I think I maybe took a little bit too much off or covered it with the stain. And then I'm gonna sand it away. You're like, he has no idea what he's doing. You're right, you're right. And now I'm just using my chisel to take some material off, make it look really rough. And I'm gonna throw on some dark stain too. Why not? And I'm going to use a drill bit to pre-drill four holes, one in each corner, to hang this bad boy up. Finally, I'm going to throw on two coats of semi-gloss polycrylic. I've never disassembled a pallet before, so oh, snap. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. It's pretty cool, huh? What if we made the sign with the pallet? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 